Hey, welcome back to Good Morning Vale. This is our weekend edition, and now we're talking about the big highway cleanup, the annual cleanup taking place on Saturday, May the 7th. And joining me now, I've got Holly's with me, Holly Loff and Larissa Reed are both here. Thanks for coming in early. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Of Thank course. You. This is a big deal. We're talking off camera about how um, anxious like anxious people get to get out there and clean because we love where we live and we take such pride in it. It's pretty amazing over the course of when the snow flies throughout the winter, when it melts, how much trash actually accumulates. For whatever reason, we don't know. People throw it out of their cars, it blows out, but there's a lot of garbage out there. There is, there is. And you know, it's amazing because we, when we first started this 16 years ago, we were picking up 50 tons of trash in just one year. Um, and it's slowly gone down over time. 50 tons? 50 tons. And it's slowly gone down. And now for the past few years, we've been around 10 to 12 tons each year, which tells us that that's what accumulates in a year. So, I mean, part of, for me, I'm amazed to think five times the amount of trash sitting there mm -hmm. 16 years ago. But still, to me, even 10 tons of trash seems like a lot of trash. When you look at its wrappers in plastic containers and coffee cups, I mean, there's a lot of stuff out there. There is. Wow, thank you. This is really a wonderful event. So let's talk a little bit about kind of how it's all going to play out. Starts. It's tomorrow morning from, or Saturday morning from 9 to 12, and then there's a big party. So give us all those details. Sure. So the cleanup itself is from 9 to 12 tomorrow, and then teens will start moving over to the Broken Arrow at the base of Arrowhead. We have a great party planned. We have a barbecue <laughs> um, hosted by the Arrowhead Alpine Club, and we have music by First Chair. Okay. We have a, a family giveaway and raffle. We have... Um, Beer from Crazy Mountain Brewery, which of course is always nice on a hot spring morning after all that hard work. This is a lot of fun. The party's actually a really good time. I think a lot of people will go do the cleanup to make sure that they can make it to the party. And parking over there can be tricky. You want to let people know that because I've done that before. So um, you might want to get there early or, you know, carpool together in a group of cars and leave some of the other cars at some of the parking lots, yeah. like over near the schools at June Creek or wherever, Perfect. so you can get up there easily. And then you guys have the fun awards too. Are you going to do like the Golden Toilet Seat Award kind of stuff again of this course, year? Of course, of course. That's, that's a favorite. A it favorite. kind of is. Part You're out there event. looking to find yeah. that super cool find that no one else has. <laughs> yeah. And it's pretty amazing what people end up finding out there. I mean, whether it's iPads or phones or sunglasses or even some even crazy unique stuff. Didn't someone find some dentures or something once? Yeah, that was the winner. I think two years ago was a full set of dentures, which makes you wonder what Whoa. happened to that person. <laughs> They have their head out the window, getting some fresh air, and the wind has kind of yanked them out. I wonder. Oh, boy. Okay, so you have a lot of teams. You have over 100 yeah. teams signed up. <clears throat> so tomorrow, the way it's going to work, you guys are going to reach out to all the team leaders over the course of today and let them know they're going to be on section here, section here. And then the team leaders will reach out to their teams directly and, and make a plan accordingly, right? Right, right. So most of the teams know exactly where they're meeting their team leader, where they're getting their bags and vests. Um, and they'll head out from there, and then everyone converges on the Broken Arrow, like you said. So. And then you obviously will bring the trash bags up to the sides of the roads, and then the, yes. the Honey Wagon crew will pick those up tomorrow or over the course of the next, I mean, over the course of the beginning of next week. Um, a lot of kid-friendly mm -hmm. cleaning also. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so we have um, two sections that we're, we're um, telling kids to go to or families to go to. One is at the fairgrounds, and then we have another section in Minturn. But people need to give us a call, and we'll, we'll put them to the right person that okay. can help them with that. So. Okay, and I know that <clears throat> I have younger kids, and every, every year we go and clean up in Singletree mm -hmm. <clears throat> because we do our cleanup at the yeah. same time also. So check your local communities also if you don't want to be out there on the big roads and deal with the heavy traffic. There's plenty of opportunities. So the cleanup is going to be taking place on Saturday um, from 9 to 12, and then the party at the Broken Arrow Cafe from 12 to 2, live music, some great food, some prizes and then go out there and clean your neighborhood up and let's make you kind of look beautiful um, for the rest of the summer. Website erwc.org, right? That's right. Holly Larissa, thanks yeah. for coming in. Thank and you. we'll see you during the cleanup. Have a nice have a nice weekend. You too. Thank All right. you. Thank you. We're gonna take it over to Leo. He's got a look at your weather coming up next.